People smoking, hanging out, and blasting music late at night. It's what a residential neighborhood in Bronzeville has put up with throughout the summer. Now they're hoping the city can fix the problems. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas spoke to some fed up people from the south side in a story you'll only see on two. It's like the best neighborhood. I mean, Joe Starnes yeah. takes pride in his block. That's why he wants to put this to an end. One of his neighbors sent us cell phone videos of people loitering and playing loud music on the block in June and July. This clip from July 1st shows not just music, but vehicles with lights glowing around 10 p.m. Loud music, liquor containers, smoking marijuana, right by a park where kids play every day. Uh, we don't want that element. We want to bring down a property value. It's Starnes and his neighbors say a major contributor is the pedestrian bridge completed early this year. They say it's a great resource, but the unwanted visitors often park on their block and then use the bridge to walk back and forth from the lakefront. They often wind up hanging out on their street or the park at the corner. Uh, I think we need to get permit parking. Recently, we've had a little bit of a more uh, a more police presence in the neighborhood and I've made sure to tell them that we're happy to have them. Marla Blair, who lives on the block, forwarded us an email. She sent Alderman Sophia King in 2017 at the start of the bridge's construction. Blair told the alderman the bridge could make public parking spaces harder to find and Blair specifically asked for permit parking. King's ordinance for permit parking on the block from April to November was introduced on July 24th of this year. It has not passed yet, but residents hope it will. They're also hoping the problems will cool down with the weather. It's frustrating because it could have been prevented or at least circumvented a little bit. Now, the alderman's office says they did not, they did not propose the changes before the bridge's completion because they had to wait to see how the bridge would affect the neighborhood. They just sent us an email saying they'd already met with police to discuss the problems. The alderman's office says they have also proposed a parking ban on one side of Oakenwald. Now, that plan, along with the permit parking, will both go before council committees this month. Brad and Erica. All right, Tim McNicholas, thank you.